guys, it's your girl B Mom and Benita is in the able and I am back with a whole different video. This is the first edition of my unpopular opinion. My opinion, not yours. So don't come for me for anything I say. You could drop your comment, like the video, and make sure you subscribe. So the first thing on my list is girls who smoke. I feel like they're super sexy and no one has any right to judge them. I mean, they didn't bring out the smoke, they didn't bring it for any gender, they didn't say this is supposed to be for the guys or this. And some people just say, oh, I cannot marry a girl who smoke. I don't feel it's this and that. And you just say a whole lot. Even girls judge girls who smoke. Guys judge girls who smoke. And I mean, it's not supposed to be like they're living their lives. I mean, to me, I feel it's really, really um, sexy, free spirit, and I love those kind of people. And that's it. And my next is on pizza. I cannot, I repeat, I cannot, cannot buy pizza. Like, with my money or with someone's money, you know, some people are like, okay. If it's someone's money, then I could go for it. But even with someone's money, especially Domino's Pizza in Enugu State, I mean, it's so overrated. For some reasons, a few people just go there, so it's be like they bought pizza from that particular spot. But there are other better places that you could, I mean, get pizza and enjoy it. Because, yeah, eating it is not bad, but then I don't think I want to spend my money on that. Then the next on my list is Money Heist. That movie is quite interesting, but the thing I don't like about it is that they had to move on. Season 1 and Season 2 was enough. But then they felt like they you know, captivated the fans and then they wanted to just keep moving. And now it is now so freakingly annoying. So annoying. I don't even know why. I'm really not even anticipating the fourth season. A lot of people are anticipating it. People want to see, people want to watch it, but then I'm really not interested just because they went for that. Season one and two was really, really just okay. Just just it. But I guess they don't want to give us a happy ending. So, anyways, then my opinion on kids in marriage, especially early marriage. I feel like okay, you want to get married, and okay, fine. The main thing is people now go into marriages for the wrong reasons. First of all, God made it for companionship. And you see people, they just delve into it and they start giving bed. And they don't even have that time to like, you know, get to know their partner even better because you didn't live with him before you got married to him. So you didn't even get the chance to spend time with him alone in the house. So left for me, I'll say like a year or two years before I have kids. And it's something I'm going to talk about with my husband because I mean, once they are there, they are there, and your attention is definitely divided, like so divided. And I feel sometimes it's an issue that people face in marriage, but then they don't really want to talk about it because they feel like, okay, why we're having kids, or why would me being a mother be a problem in a marriage? But then it's certain things they face because, left for me, they didn't really think about it well, so that's not how. Then my next opinion is on this movie Avengers. Yeah, it's old, but the way I went to the cinema to watch that movie, I slept off like legit. It wasn't even funny. My eyes are so drowsy. It was so boring. Three hours of nothing. I didn't enjoy the movie. Like, fine, the movie was really great, but the only part that got me, like, got me, got my attention was the very ending, that last fight. Apart from that, nothing about the movie was interesting when it comes to getting a degree in the university i feel like it's not every career that's supposed to you know get that reading. if i wasn't studying law and okay right from the start i wanted to be a content creator and then do youtube and all that and all that i don't think anybody can force me to go to school there's some courses you go to school for and i'm just wondering why well I'm not saying you shouldn't go to school, definitely. If you're in a journey watching this video, you know you don't have an option. Especially when you know who is paying your fees and other things, you really don't have an option. But I mean, if there are other things you could do, especially when you know the funds are not really there, then you put it into something else to get you money and you move on. But then we feel like, okay, this whole school thing, but, but it's better you go to school and you don't have money then you didn't go to school and you don't have money like you get it okay so the next on my list is Iroko TV and I feel like okay 
they are doing well because they are the first people in Nigeria that started the whole that said something similar to Netflix. But at the same time, at the same time, seventy percent of their movies are not really interesting. I mean, there's a whole lot to be done. But I give it to them for even you know, my friend Chumaka is going to come for me for this. But you can't blame me. I'm just giving you my opinion, mine. So the next is on rap music. I feel like some people tend to uh, say that rap is overrated just because they don't understand the lyrics. Oh God. I mean, girl, guy, whoever you are, if you really want to enjoy rap, then you get an earpiece and actually listen to what they're saying. There's a whole lot to be said that when you're listening to all this music, talk about the ass, the booze, and all that, and all that. They actually have some things in this rap or trap that they say that make a whole lot of sense you understand me so just make sure you try to even hear them out you know it's not just about the beat 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 everywhere and there but my opinion like i said so next on my list is cold stone and this cold stone thing is like 50 50 yeah if you have the money you could go for cold stone but if you don't have the money and you're going for it just to show up then what the hell is wrong with you because left for me you could go into the mall or wherever and get another ice cream i feel they are all the same thing it's just that you know they put something the toppings and the waffles and if you want you could make waffles yourself really please next on our list is whiskey songs old versus new left for me i would always want to go back to the old song and listen to them as he was growing older and releasing more music i feel they were depreciating that's what i have to say so if you're a fan please please that's how i feel he's good he's good but the old the old songs were just really weird. Next, next is Kilimanjaro. Really, really, really Kilimanjaro. I don't know. But Kilimanjaro to me is overrated in every single way. The only thing about them that makes sense is their bread. Their nipples bread. That's the only thing. Because I feel like it's actually like really good. But their food is not really sweet. And I mean, I bought their offer that right now. Like, oh, really? This was tasting and i couldn't even eat it and i was so pissed off and the rest of it i mean they are i don't know but well that's all i have to say they are really overrated there are other places you can get food from that mustn't be kilimanjaro i don't know why people do this whole thing like oh i want to go there because it's kilimanjaro girl go get food that makes sense and eat next on my list is chocolate Anything chocolate is so disgusting. I don't know how people take chocolate ice cream on all that. Like, I mean, I could manage cake, but in fact, chocolate as a whole doesn't just, you know, I'd rather go for vanilla or strawberry or um, red velvet when it comes to cake than chocolate. I don't know why people just like it. I'm like, oh, it's chocolate. And I'm like, what's the fuss about it? Like, what's the fuss about it? But anyway, moving on to me, Instagram is the most interesting social media. Okay, to me, I feel like if you bring Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, that the first on the list has to be Twitter, the second on the list has to be Snapchat, and then the third on the list has to be Instagram. I feel like Instagram is a list because these other two social media support it greatly because all the filters and these and that from snapchat and people used to take pictures and they post on instagram and then all the tweets and then all the tweets from twitter like is what actually give instagram the vibe and we're reading it and we're laughing but twitter is actually where it all happens and then snapchat too so instagram is the least for me yeah so that is my opinion and we've actually come to the end of the opinion for today today we just like touched everything in general but the next edition will like you know try to like organize more maybe school edition christmas edition and all this you get that's how we'll be doing it from the next one so i hope you enjoyed it make sure you drop a comment i know you want to say something i know you want to say something so make sure you drop your opinion down there your comments anything you like me to do next i'm all out for you guys so drop it there thank you like the video and make sure you subscribe 
subscribe join the fan we'll live we'll see you next time bye